Stop motion animation is like opening night in the theater every day for 18 months, you know, with no rehearsals. Because once he starts his performance of the puppet walking across the room, it doesn't exist except on film. The puppet is just in the last position where he was, and he takes a frame, he moves it to the next position. So you can't really fix that stuff earlier on. You can't go back and insert a frame because it's very hard to recapture the pose of the puppet. It would always jitter. You'd always notice it. So I go to visit them, and I'm allowed a 10-frame cutback. That's, he'll be animating a character doing something, and I'm, I don't like the way this is going for the last 10 frames. Can you go back and fix it? So they'll allow me that. Anything over 10 frames, my producer comes out, and he usually argues with me that it's good enough, that you don't need to cut back 15 frames or 30 frames. And if we keep arguing, then the scheduler comes out and stands there, and he's trying to assess how much is this going to throw off the schedule of the whole movie, because that guy needs to be off that stage on Tuesday. And if Tony cuts him back 20 frames, he'll lose a day. That means the eggs puppet can't be corrected and be on stage 34 for his shot. With it. And they, they have a whole board with this and figure it out. And everything is meticulously down to, to the last minute. And Travis, you know, the CEO, who's also an animator, a really good animator, he's the one who breaks these ties. If we can't, you know, if we both just stubbornly won't agree to either not do it or do it, and Travis comes out, and Travis will all change everything. 